Well, welcome to the children's message. Come on up to the screen and, and join me. Um, still can't be together yet. We're going to start in-building worship next week. But, you know, we won't be able to have a children's message the way we like to. We won't be able to have you up here close to us yet. But if you're in worship, we will do a children's message. So, um, you know, we hope we'll see you. But in the meantime, this is the way we got to do it. So I'm glad you're with me. And um, I want to talk to you a little bit about sheep. You know, this is Good Shepherd Sunday. We kind of call it that because every year on this Sunday, I think it's the fourth Sunday of Easter, three Sundays after Easter, we talk about Jesus being the Good Shepherd. And every year we get to hear a very, very famous psalm, Psalm 23. So I thought I would read that to you. And I have my Bible here. And you know, if you ever wondered, like, how I can find things in the Bible, I'm going to give you a quick little hint. You know where the book of Psalms is? It's right in the middle. So I'm going to go right to the middle and, oops, there it is. Yep, there it is, right there, right there. Psalm 23, and we're in Psalms, and I want to find Psalm 23 for you. There it is. So I want to share Psalm 23. I want you to listen carefully, okay? And I'm going to put the words on the screen so you can kind of follow along a little bit, all right? The Lord is my shepherd I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right pathways for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. So those are the words of the 23rd Psalm. Very, very famous Lots of people know that. Songs have been written about it. And if you go to the YouTube video, sermons have been preached about it. Pastor Gene did that this week. But you know what kind of annoys me about this psalm? This psalm says, the Lord is my shepherd, which makes me a sheep. And I got to tell you, I'm not happy about that. I mean, you know, Pastor Jean will tell you in her YouTube sermon, in this YouTube service sermon, do you know what sheep manure, you know, sheep poop is like? Uh, woof, hoo, 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 hoo. You don't even want to go there. Literally, you don't want to go there. And then I have a friend who said sheep are like really dumb, like really dumb. Like if you take a sheep and you put a sheep out in the field, it will chew on the grass. Every day it will chew on the grass, but then if there are like a little bit of snow and you can't see the grass and you put the sheep out there, the sheep will go, what happened to the grass? I don't see any grass. I mean, sheep are not smart. So do you really want to be like a sheep? Do I want to be like a sheep? No, except for something else that's very important in her sermon. Pastor Gene also says, maybe sheep aren't so dumb because sheep do know who they belong to. They know who takes care of them. And you know who that is? That's the shepherd, of course, the shepherd. But not just any shepherd. When you and I are the sheep, the shepherd is Jesus. And that is awesome. To know that I belong to Jesus. And you know what that means? It means that no matter how crummy life gets, no matter how many problems I run into, no matter how many things go wrong, and you know what? No matter how many things I do wrong, Jesus still has my back. Jesus is still there for me. Jesus is always there for me. Because Jesus is the Good Shepherd. Jesus is the one who watches over us, who protects us, who keeps us safe, sometimes who has to pull us back because we get a little out of line, but always Jesus who stays by our side 
and does not leave us. Isn't that incredible? I mean, think about all the things that happen in life that are kind of um, a bummer, you know? Things that go wrong, you have a bad day, you did something you shouldn't have done, you got in trouble, maybe, maybe you're at school and you didn't do as well as you wanted to, maybe you can't hang out with your friends, or even worse, your friends don't want to hang out with you. I mean, all sorts of things go wrong, but Jesus, the Good Shepherd, is always there. And the neat thing is, we kind of know that that's where we belong, don't we? So um, I'm going to ask Pastor Jean, she's working the camera, to get ready to move the camera for a moment because I want to show you something. I want to show you right here, right over here, right over here. See if we were in the building. Oh, she's got to get the camera going. She's a little slow there, you know, she's a little slow, but that's okay. You know why we belong to Jesus? It's right here. Remember? Remember our baptism? Remember we do in baptism? Remember sometimes when we're in church, we, if we have a baptism, we have you come up with a children's message. You know what I'll do? I'll say, why don't you take some water? and put it on someone's forehead. Okay, so Pastor Jean, just leave the camera right there. I'm gonna sneak over and I'm gonna put some water, I'm putting water on Pastor Jean's forehead, okay? See, I just put water on her forehead. That's what we do, don't we? We take the water and we put it on our forehead or maybe we put it on somebody else's forehead to remind us that we belong to Jesus. Because even though we know that we belong to Jesus, sometimes we need a reminder. So I want you to remember that, okay? You belong to Jesus because you are the sheep. Don't worry about the sheep poop. Don't worry about whether or not there's snow on the ground. You belong to Jesus. You don't even need to have to eat the grass. You belong to Jesus. And because you belong to Jesus, Jesus is going to hang on to you and watch over you and keep you safe, okay? All right. So thanks for joining me. Um, next week, I think Pastor Gene will be here. We've got in-building worship coming up, but we're going to keep doing the children's message for you as a video, okay? We're going to keep doing that because um, not all of you will be able to get to church and maybe you're not ready to come back. That's okay. We don't want to forget about you. We, leave you. we don't want to leave you behind because Jesus won't leave you behind. And if Jesus won't, I'm not leaving you behind either, okay? All right. You take care of yourself. Have a great week. Enjoy the warmer weather. Spring is coming. And, and Jesus is with us. So just know that you are loved by a good and gracious God, okay? Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.